Hey everyone, welcome back to Inside the Cage, where we bring you the latest and exciting updates of UFC. First, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Dana White's Censorship Exposed by Sean Strickland. Let's talk about the wild world of UFC and one of its most outspoken fighters, Sean Strickland. You know, this guy has incredible natural talent and he's not shy about using it to shake things up. He's known for his unapologetic views and his strong attachment to traditional values, and he's made quite a name for himself in the MMA scene. In a recent interview, Strickland didn't hold back. He got right into the clear cut of the financial struggles that UFC fighters face. Even though he hinted that the UFC might have tried to silence him during the conversation. Lately, he had a chat with UFC Hall of Famer Don Fry and host TJ DeSantis, where they discussed the rather insignificant earnings of fighters from the past compared to the big bucks that today's players are raking in. Moreover, Strickland laid it out, explaining how fighters in the Dana White Contender Series might only make $5,000 for a fight, and an extra $5,000 if they win. But here's the main point. When Strickland tried to jump into the broader issue of low compensation, mysteriously his microphone got cut off. So he turned to Instagram, of course. In a candid and direct response to the situation, he poured his thoughts out. For the world to see, think this was cut? They're not going to air any of these technical difficulties, Lomeo. This is an all-industry thing. Jeff Bezos can go build a rocket to go to space but can't pay a couple more dollars. This isn't a UFC thing, this is an American thing. That's what I was saying when the stream cut. Now, my friend, it's quite a bold move on his part, even in the face of adversity, right? Nuno versus Wilder MMA face-off. The PFL heavyweight might just be gearing up for a showdown with none other than Deontay Wilder in 2024. So Francis Angano recently stepped into the boxing ring for his debut against Tyson Fury in Saudi Arabia over the weekend, and it ended in a split decision loss for Nganu. But he gained a lot of praise from boxing legends like Eddie Hearn and Mike Tyson, among others. Many, including Malik Scott, are saying that he should take on Deontay Wilder next. Meanwhile, the Bronze Bomber doesn't have a fight scheduled for December after his bout with Anthony Joshua fell through. But here's the twist. He spilled the beans on the MMA hour with Ariel Helwani and confirmed that there are ongoing talks with Deontay Wilder. However, the interesting part is that they're discussing a fight in the PFL, not a boxing match. Whereas Francis Ngannou, when asked about the possibility of a fight with Deontay Wilder in the PFL, seemed to give it the green light. It suggests that he's open to the idea. Additionally, he revealed that they've talked about it and that this topic has been under discussion. While Ngannou further shared that Deontay Wilder has been immersed in MMA for some time now, so his response hints that there's genuine interest from both sides, and it's not just idle talk. Oh yeah, because there's an option here. Nothing is said, but it's been something been coming out to my ear, to my attention. So that's something that makes sense. Wow. I think, and he's really because he's really serious about the MMA. Um, I know a lot of people talk, oh, I'm going to do this in boxing and do that in MMA. But I think Deontay Wilder is very interested in MMA and even like just to step in the octagon for MMA and MMA only. All in all, the world of combat sports is in for some exciting developments, with these two powerhouses considering a clash in the PFL. Robert Whitaker's views on Sean Strickland's challenge. Did you catch what Robert Whitaker had to say about that rumored Kamzat Shimaev vs. Sean Strickland fight? It's been quite the buzz lately, before the fight even happened. Dana White went ahead and labeled it a title eliminator. That's a pretty big deal, right? Now Robert Whitaker, during a recent episode of his Markada podcast, gave his take on the undefeated Chemaev. Usman's a tough fight, and he, he beat him. He, he did beat him. Whether that was worth a title shot, I, I don't think so. Neither does Strickland, but it is what it is. You know, I like the idea of those two dudes being in the division, but sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> Whether you how Eli Chimaev is going to go, <laughs> yeah, how Chimaev will go against the other middleweights, it's hard to say. Styles make fights, but yeah. he's going to be fighting Strickland, and Strickland's got some pretty good 
takedown defense. Not to mention, he's an yeah. awkward di- guy to stand with. He just mm. the way he throws. And there's more from Robert Whitaker. The former UFC middleweight champ thinks that Cian Strickland is going to be one tough challenge for Chimaev. I can see Strickland giving Chimaev a hard fight. I think it's going to be a yeah. hard fight. I don't think Chimaev's going to run through him. I, I, yeah, he's definitely not going to be able to run through him. And over five rounds, Strickland's yeah. very energy efficient. Very, yeah, very energy efficient. He, he almost gets faster during the rounds. So, yeah. yeah, I think he's, obviously that breakthrough, breakdown is going to be for another day, but I think he's going to have some really, uh, like he's going to have a really hard test, really hard fight on his hands. Because if anyone's going to last the round, it's going to be, it's going to be Strickland. Hmm. Well, regardless of whether Robert Whitaker's assessment holds, it seems Kamzat Chemayev isn't breaking a sweat. He recently made a statement on X, and here's what he had to say. Aya Strickland MMA, you are next. Don't worry, you know how fast I can finish you. And when it comes to Strickland's perspective, he doesn't seem to think Chimaev has earned the benefit of facing him. He laid it out in an interview with Fight Pass. He's not earned it. He doesn't F deserve it. Getting a decision with a welterweight off the couch is not fearing it. You know, even though there's been no official confirmation about a Strickland vs. Chimaev title fight, it sure seems like that's the direction things are headed in, right? So, what do you think? Would you be excited to see Strickland defend his title against Chimaev? It's going to be an exciting matchup, no doubt. Guys, if you're enjoying the video, we'd love your support. Just hit that subscribe button to motivate us to bring you more exciting content. The ultimate battle heating up after Fury fight. Here is the buzz after Francis' match with Tyson Fury. It was quite the showdown in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, and fans were left whispering with excitement. Francis, known for his MMA skills, stepped into the boxing ring against Fury, the reigning WBC heavyweight champ. Despite Fury's unbeaten record, Francis gave him a run for his money. He even managed to knock Fury out in a pretty jaw-dropping fashion. But here's where it gets interesting. Some fans took it a step further and started joking that Francis could beat LeBron James in a basketball match in just six months. Now that's some confidence right there. LeBron, as you probably know, is a superstar in the NBA and is often compared to the legendary Michael Jordan. So, it's an amusing comparison, to say the least. However, it's essential to remember that in their respective domains, both Francis and LeBron are absolute titans. Francis made quite a splash as an MMA fighter-turned-boxer, showing remarkable skills, while LeBron is a legend in the basketball world. Despite some initial doubts about Francis' ability to go 10 rounds in a boxing match, his debut and his performance against Fury received a lot of acclaim. Many fans thought he deserved the win, but some questionable judging decisions led to his defeat. It's a fascinating twist in the world of combat sports, and who knows what surprises are in store for us in the future.